Peace and love, y'all. It's your brother, Avis, and we are here with another installment of more interviews, a.k.a. memoirs of our real experiences. And for this interview for today, I am excited as well as I am grateful to have a brother, MC, artist, activist, all around amazing individual representing Monroe, Louisiana, got the brother, Mr. K.I.D. Huey P. for today's interview, y'all. So, as he's making his way in here, thank y'all again for the continued support. If y'all have any questions throughout the interview that you would like to ask Huey P, please put them down in the comments, because again, this is interactive. And, of course, I'm going to be asking questions to him. But if you want to know more about him, go check him out. Look around. And please, don't be afraid to ask those questions. Because he's here. But yes. Shout out to Chicken and Beef. I see you in here. Peace and love. But yeah. So as the brother's coming in, let me go ahead. I'm just going to put some more music, play some more music in the background. So, yes. I'm the first comment everyone else can <laughs> kiss my converse. Ah, that's so funny. As well as this update too with Instagram. You can like people's comments now. Very interesting. Oh yeah, chicken, chicken and beef. Let me know if you can hear me and if I sound good. I want to make sure that it doesn't sound terrible. But yeah, y'all. And speaking of Huey P, we got the brother, Mr. KID, Huey P, in the building. So, with that being said, let me bring the brother in and we're going to get this going. You said don't read my comment. It was based in love, it's not based in ego. Oh, brother, you good. It wasn't that. Yo, 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 what's up, bro? Hey, man, I'm grateful that you're here, man. How are hey, you doing? Hey, I'm good, brother. How you, how yourself, man? You can hear me? Yes, I can hear you very well, brother. All right, bet, bet. I want to make sure you hear me. I, you know, you know, my phones be tweaking that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Especially them, them head, the other headphones, them, the Apple. Oh yeah, bruh. But yes, brother. Bet, so bet. again, y'all. This is more interviews, a.k.a. memoirs of our real experiences. And for today's interview, I got the brother. Like I said earlier, I said the MC, the artist, the activist, extraordinaire, just all around, brother, representing Monroe, <laughs> Louisiana. Got the brother, Mr. K.I.D. Huey P. in the building, y'all. Yes, sir. What's up? What's up? So, I mean, yes. I, pre I appreciate the intro, bro. You made me sound like I'm big or something, yeah. Bro, you definitely are. <laughs> you definitely are, bro. And, and with that, y'all, again, if y'all want to go check this brother out in any way, shape, or form, if this is your first time what's up, what's up, what's knowing up? who who this is, please go follow, subscribe to the page. Yes, you have to catch the, click the bell. The reason why I said subscribe is you got to go click bells now because if not, you're not going to get any of the posts, anything coming on your feed. So go check it out on Instagram. It's the link. There's the little thing up here you can click. If not on YouTube, I got you. I'm going to put all the links to Spotify, go stream. Of course, the new project yes, that's out. Of yes, course, sir. the yes, story sir. of the black sheep. We're going to get into that later on. But again, y'all, go check them out. But before we do, brother, is there any things that you want to share with people as well as any questions or concerns that you have from me before we start? Um, Honestly, no, nah, bro. I'm not Oh my goodness. Yo, yo, shouts out to everyone that's coming up in here again. What's up, brother? I see you in here. Artist FMC in the building as well. Good to see you, my G. But let's see what happened. Brother just started circling on us right now. But again, y'all, this is more interviews, aka memoirs of our real experiences. And we're going to be interviewing, of course, the brother, Mr. KID Huey P as he makes his way back up in here. But if y'all have any questions, please throw them in the comments. 
because again, as we're going this interview, I'm going to be asking questions, but if y'all are very interested and want to know what's happening with Huey P, maybe when he's going to be torn music, any type of questions, please throw them down in the comments and we'll get to them for sure. But as that's going on, let's see what happened with the brother right now. But as that's going on, I'm going to play some of the music in the background until he gets back up on here. Chicken and beef over here, setting the atmosphere. I hear you. So QEP is from Monroe, Louisiana. He gonna he gonna tell you more about it too, cause I I got a bit of information before we even got to kick and start into the interview. So, but that's that's what y'all can have there. Let me see. Let me add back the picture as well, y'all, so y'all can see a little bit more clearly. All right, brother, come back up in here. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Got to switch it up sometimes. Got to switch it up just a little bit, just a little bit. And y'all make sure to... Again, if y'all got questions, please throw them down. I know I keep stressing it, but yeah, it's very cool to be getting other questions besides the ones that I have for myself. What is going on? Oh, it's like he's popping in and popping out right now. Huey, what's going on, my G? It's like you're in here, but then it says you're not in here. So, sorry for the technical difficulties right now, y'all. We're working through the last bit of it right now. But let's see. I got so many of y'all in here commenting. Appreciate the love. So, let's try this one more again. Mr. Yeah, bro. I'm sent it to you, so I don't know. You got to accept it, man. Yeah, it said you was unable to join, bro. Like, I'm accepting you. Yeah. Yeah. Instagram is not ready. And they not. There we go. There we go, bro. I was about to say, man. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck going on, man. They really was trying to mess with it. But again, y'all, we're going to do this one time. Yes. So again, welcome to more interviews. I've probably said it multiple times. But again, welcome to more interviews. Memoirs of our real experiences. I see it. Yes. So y'all already know what it is right now. So we're going to be getting into an interview today with Mr. KID QBP, y'all. Represent, again, like I said, Monroe, Louisiana. We're going to get a little Monroe, bit more Louisiana in depth. in the building. So with that again, brother, before it cut out, man, do y'all do you have anything that you like to plug, share, and is there any concerns or questions you have before we start? Um no, nah, I just want y'all to go check out that tape that I just dropped and stay tuned in because I'm gonna keep dropping more and more heat all year long. And I wanna say, um, I'm gonna let you take over, bro. I'm gonna let you do your thing, bro. You you're a beast at what you do. You know mm. what I'm saying? You you've been a beast ever since we tapped in. I'm gonna let you just take over, bro. Do your thing. I'm with it. I'm with it, man. And likewise, brother, because that's how again, like minds attract as well as that like minded, you know, energy as well. 
Yes, sir. So with that, y'all, let's go ahead and get this interview going. And again, like I said, if y'all have questions, please throw them down in the comments, and I will get to them and ask them to TQEP. So come Yours on. True. Exactly. See, I wanted to say that, <laughs> but I let you. I let you keep to say to yours truly. <laughs> right. So yeah, before you know, even start, trying to hella people be still in my yours truly over the years, but it's all good. Yeah, brother. <laughs> we ain't talk about it. We 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 are because we we got some questions. We got some. We got some on that. Right. Um. First thing I know you said it earlier, brother. But again, let me know, man. How you doing today, brother? Man, <coughs> I'm a. I'm actually, I'm all right, bro. I'm coming out of bad place. Lost a couple of people over the weekend. Mm. The last couple of days, you know what I'm saying. So, just trying to stay focused, positive. You know what I'm saying. You know how that shit go, man. Yep. Yeah, sir. What about you? I'm with it. What's popping in Cali? How that Cali weather? Oh, it's all over the place. First is first is warm, then it's cold. You know, it was a bit yeah. windy today, but other than that, man, I was grateful for it. I was trying to get me some sun, but then the clouds start blocking it towards the end today. So you already know. Yeah, it was you know raining all of that today. Stuff. It was all oh, rainy and muggy and shit. Yeah. What's up, James? I see you up in here to James Horton. There's another another brother that man, y'all just That's wait. Just wait. Up, That's another up, brother. He over he over around in the area back over there too. So with that, appreciate you answering that, my man. So first question I got for you, brother. Yes, for sir. those who do not know who you are and they're just getting introduced to you for the first time, can you tell us about yourself and a bit of your background? All right, if you never, ever in your life heard of me, seen me, or anything, my name is Mr. KID Huey P. You hear it in the background. No, I'm saying. <laughs> but no, I'm from Morrow, Louisiana. I'm an activist, artist, musician. I call myself Mr. Do-It-All a little bit. I try, mm. to, I try to stay versatile, do a lot of stuff. But um, uh, my mom's and uncle got killed in front of me when I was seven. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That was a traumatic experience for me. Changed my life drastically. Um, kind of acted out with it, you know what I'm saying? But I tried to overall use it as motivation. So that's why I'm like on, some, on, like on a positive tip, mostly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I tried to flip the, flip the bad into good, even though that shit is like the worst that you can ever go through. Mm. But, um, you know what I'm saying? Over the, I was um, an athlete, too. Hmm. Um, an artist I paint too. I used to be in muse uh, museums and all type of stuff. You know, what I'm saying <laughs> like all type of stuff. Went art shows. Wow. Did all that type of stuff. Was a football star, athlete, track star, baseball, base basketball. Did it all. Ended up getting a scholarship. Football. Going to school. Almost made it to the league. Mm. Got my degree in business. Started my masters. And um. Once football was over, I pretty much like tried to see what what could I see myself doing that I actually love, and I love helping people, and I used to love poetry a lot. So I ended up putting those two together, and now you got Huey P. Mm. Long story short, there it is, y'all. Shoot, and I appreciate I appreciate you sharing that, brother, and thank you for you know being open you know sharing about you know experiences of losing you know people very near and dear to you for some folks you know that's you know too personal in some ways in shape or form so thank you for sharing that as well and being open about that and oh, yeah, speaking man. of your love for the poetry and the art and music mm -hmm. next question i got for you is when did you begin creating music in your rhymes I said, okay, well, this is kind of a funny story. Um, Cause like, I used to, we used to like do like battle raps and stuff. Okay, like you remember when Reed Dollars and stuff was first on like YouTube. Mm. Okay, so like we was in Louisiana, but we was watching that shit. So like freshman year, me and my homies, we used to be in class and like we couldn't talk cause it was strict as hell here. But so what we was doing, we'll like write line, we'll see who could write the hardest bar. Whoever can write the hardest bar, make somebody say something, or make somebody end up saying something, and get in trouble. 
That's who won. So, mm, <laughs> damn. So I, I used to take I used to take pride in like trying to always have like always winning the most and you know what I'm saying and trying to come up with the bars and stuff. But at the time like that was just like fun. Like we ain't really take it serious. And then like I can recall like I don't know if you remember the T Pain app on the iPhone when it first oh, came out. Oh my <laughs> goodness, bro. I had so much fun with that. I've done oh. so many things with that, but continue. Man, that shit crazy. I um, uh, yeah. So like when I played football and stuff, no lie, we used to be smoking and shit. So we had we used to get high after the games and stuff. So mm. I, I did a couple of freestyles on there, bro. And like we used to actually bump that shit before the games, like and people would know them word for word. And like I I think about it, about the moments now, like damn, that shit's crazy. Cause hey, if you'd have told me then, oh bro, you gonna be rapping, you gonna do music and stuff, I'd have laughed in your face. Like get the fuck out of here, like. Wow, you know what I'm saying? so that's crazy. That's kind of where it started. We back. Yo, I went out. Yeah, are you not? No, I think we're good now. We good. Oh, we'll continue. Okay. We'll continue, brother. Oh yeah. So yeah, I was just saying that's what that's what's, that's what kind of started it for me. Okay. On top of how that um started and what was getting you into it, um. What really inspired and pushed you to create just music in general besides, of course, you know, you had the T-Pain out and just seeing the interaction oh, okay. between your music, your music, at least on there, and people knowing it word for word. What really inspired you? Um, like I said earlier, when I, like, when I told my show to my freshman year in college and I really had set up myself and had like a Real reality check, like, yeah. okay. You know, you thought football was your life, but that might not happen no more. You know, yeah. it's very possible that could be over with. So what can you seriously see yourself doing? And like I said, um, I was always, I always was into helping people. You know what I'm saying? I always was into the kids, doing stuff for the community. And then uh, I liked the music, and I knew how much music could touch people. Like, mm. Music is a universal language, and you know what I'm saying? You can have foreigners bumping your music, don't know what you're saying, but they can feel your energy, yes. your music, they yes. can feel your pain, your happiness, whatever. So I figured, like, okay, if I want to help people and touch people in the way I could do it the fastest yes. and reach the most people was through music. Mm. So that's why I ended up cho choosing to do music. And I was already already a dope poet. So I was like, well, it shouldn't be that hard for me because I write poetry. So, Yeah. Mm. Man, thank you for that, brother. And I see y'all's questions in the comments. Don't worry. Some of the questions you've already stated, I actually have very similar ones to it. So I'm going to ask them for both of us, for all of us. Um, on top of that. And shout out to everybody in the building. I appreciate y'all tapping in. Yes. Thank y'all for y'all time and being here. Now, the next question I got for you, you gave us a bit already through your beginning, you know, background, but let's get a little bit more deeper into it, you know, share a few That's other right. things you want to know. So, how was what Huey P, how was Huey P as a child growing up? I know you shared some of the experiences that are going on later on at high school, the unfortunate, you know, situations that happened, but who, who was Huey P as a child growing up? Huey P as a child growing up. Yeah. Um, I was a very happy child. Very cool friend. Cool with everybody. Had all the friends. Everybody. Yeah. Um, you know, all the girls thought I was cute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was real smart at my at an early age too. You know what I'm saying? So, a lot of people gravitated to, towards me because of that. They was like, "This dude a little different." Like. You know what I'm saying? I would be the leader in all the little groups we had and stuff like that. Um, very creative. And I was I, I was kind of shy, though. I was real, real shy. Like, mm. Especially if I, if, I don't, like, if I don't know you. Yeah. I ain't finna say nothing. <laughs> you know gotcha. <laughs> but yeah, that, uh, that's pretty much me as a kid. And then, like, you know what I'm saying? When stuff happened with my moms, it kind of, like, shut me off to the world. Mm. Like, I kind of like closed in. I was like, I'm not rocking with nobody. 
Mm. But I still try to be a good person. I was just more close. Yeah. yeah. And it's very, again, very understandable. Especially, oh, yeah. you know, trying to figure out. I mean, as a kid, one of the things that we do is we do a lot of observational, you know, learning. So we learn from our parents and the people around us. And, you know, that's how we get an idea of, you know, what's what's safe, what's unsafe you know, what's fun, what isn't, by initially watching them. And then, of course, after that, you know, follow suit. So, to me, you just speaking it and, you know, going through that, you know, I got some clarity on it. So, I appreciate it. And on top of that, because I know you said it already with pieces in there because you just ahead of the game, ahead of the game with these, you know, these answers. The other one I wanted to ask is, um, how did your experiences and how did those experiences impact who you are now i mean um like my mom was like a real one bro like mm. she was like everybody loved <coughs> everybody loved my mom she was super cool she's the cook for everybody you know what mm. I'm saying? she was that type of person so like watching her move and seeing how she, like what happened to her it kind of like made me jaded mm. it made my trust like super messed up I ain't gonna lie but at the same time seeing how she moved like the positivity that she put out there and all the love that she had and you know what I'm saying it, it showed me how to move mm. Mm. so you know what I'm saying I take that from uh, I took that from that experience uh like, I lost a lot of people at an early age, bro. Yeah. So, yeah, my life was a little different from others. So, you know what I'm saying? It was, I don't know, I might look at life a little differently. Mm. Like I said, when, when you lose so many people that's close to you, and you lose the closest ones to you at a rapid pace, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That shit, mate. That shit will mess you up, bro. Like, real talk. So, mental, like, that mental health stuff is real, bro. Like, I'm definitely an advocate for it. Like, you got to take care of your mental, bro. Yes, y'all. Yes, that's very, very powerful. And a hashtag for y'all with that is hashtag self-care for your health care. Because it's like important. That. You got to take care of yourself yeah, and not like being that. that. Shoot, run with it, brother. Use it. And shout out again to my brother Longo. That's something me and him came up with together. And, whoo, it hits. With that too, brother, I got a question in the comments, and I want to ask this question before all the comments just start flying away. So okay, I got a brother. I got a question yeah, from bro. from the brother Chicken and Beef, and he wants to know: Are you the same QEP that did the artwork based on album covers and did the work for um, Bro Tech Tech and Smith and Wesson for Brother Tech and Smith and Wesson? I do do all works and stuff. I'm trying to think, Tech and Smith and Wesson, that sounds familiar. Yeah, so the brother Tech, so like Tech, he's from the group Smith and Wesson, but it's just Tech. Did you do his um, uh, uh, art cover, uh, 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 album uh, uh, cover? No, no. Okay. Another, that's, that's another guy. Yes. Yeah. I'm so not going to claim some work that's not mine. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Got it out um, there. And then I know earlier, um, if I'm correct, if still in the room here, if I'm saying your name right, please tell me if not, you know, I'm sorry. Um, Kita, uh -huh. if it's right, both me and Kita had the or had the question of you know explain the significance of your name, man. You got to know what about your name, man. Especially, <laughs> I want to know what does the K I D stand for because you already know I love acronyms and you got dots in between the letters, so I'm just like, yo, I want to know what's I there. I knew this. I knew this question was coming up. Yeah, of course, bro. This is like the most frequently asked question that I get. Yes. How did you come up with the name Huey P? So, if you never heard it, the story. Here you go. So, hold on. Let me light my let me light my blunt before. I don't know. <laughs> no, okay. So, I'm sitting in my apartment. True story. At the time, I was doing things I 
I didn't have business on. So mm. I was just like, <laughs> but I'm sitting at the apartment here. So I'm like, okay. I'm thinking about my name, Mr. KID. And I originally, Mr. KID stood for Mr. Kill Instrumentals Daily. Mm. That's, that's what it originally stood for. So I was like, uh, I'm like, my name's straight, but it could be a little harder. Like, so how can, like, what can I do to make my name harder? Mm. So, so I started, like, researching people from my hometown that was famous. Yeah. For, like, the top 50 people. Because, like, nobody really know anybody from Morrow, Louisiana. Anybody mm. think about Louisiana, you think about New Orleans. New Orleans. Now, since you got Young Boy, Boosie, Gates and stuff, you think about Baton Rouge, Fredo Bain. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Nobody really know, like, nothing about Morrow. So I'm searching. I'm looking through names. I see Bill Russell. I learned Bill Russell was from my hometown. I was like, oh, shit. Okay. I never knew that. So I'm looking at more people, more people. So I get down. I'm like, I think it's like number 43 or something. You know what I mean? So yeah. I see Huey P. So I'm looking and I'm like, I ain't never heard of this dude. And it's crazy because they don't teach him, they don't teach us about him in Louisiana. Like you would think they'll tell us something about somebody that famous from Louisiana, but they don't they don't even teach us that. Wow. So I see Huey P and I'm like, okay. I'm like, so I look at him and I see that he started the Black Panthers and so I'm like, oh wow. So then I, I started like diving into him and like really researching him. Yes. And then that to me like on a spiritual tip, that's when shit got a little freaky. Mm. Because like I I started getting his books, his autobiographies, and I'm reading articles, listening to his interviews, and it's so crazy. It's like me and him got so much of like similarities, it's like freaky. It's like I'm talking about I read his autobiography. Mm. A lot of we had so much in common, it was crazy. And then I was just sitting there and I was just like Mr. KID, who we peep. And I was like, yo, I was like, that shit go perfect. Mm. And I was like, I was like, man, this must, like, this was, must was meant to be. Yeah. And then, like, and it's crazy because, like, I have a mixtape called From Nothing to Something, The Great Escape from Poverty. That's my first mixtape I ever did. Mm. And it, when I did this mixtape, when I did most of the mistapes before I found out about UEP, and if you listen to the tape, bro, it's crazy because I'm talking about the same stuff he was talking about. Hmm. But I never heard of him. So that's what made it like, yo, I was like, yo, this shit is crazy. Like, my music was already talking about the same message he had. So I was like, yeah, this must was meant to be, so. Wow. Ever since then, it's been a raps, bro. Like, Wow. Man, that's dope. I'm like, I'm glad I glad I'm asked that question. I know it's a frequently asked question. So you got that just ready, loaded in the chamber. But I know you had said you said K I you said K I D stood for oh, yeah, Killing Instrument of Daily, but what is it now? Yeah, switch. yeah, I'm about to say it. But that switch. So I had a talk with one of my my one of my grandmas and stuff. And she was talking about my name and stuff, and I told her the KID, I was like, yes, that's for kill instruments daily. She was like, oh, that's all right. <laughs> she was like, uh, she hit me with that song. I'm like, oh. She said, that's all right. I'm like, dang. So I'm like, you must got something better than this. She was like, well, it could stand for king and dominion, which means king and power. Mm. And I was like, oh, I like that. So that's when this switch. Oh. So that's what I mean. That's what my name means. Mr. King and Dominion, he would pee. And y'all heard it here. My goodness. Because you sitting, I mean, Huey P was sitting on that throne <laughs> in that picture. If y'all don't know about the picture, y'all can, you know, again, go look, look all this stuff up. Research, all of that is in there. But yes, man. Yeah, that that, that is hard. It definitely is. It is extremely but well, man, now with adding on to your name and finding and looking all of that up, brother, why did you take on that name in the title? Ooh, that's the next question everybody asks. And that's why I get the backlash. I get either love or backlash for that. Mm. And 
it's kind of like it's a reason why I made the black like I last uh, named my EP the Black Sheep. Mm. Cause I feel like Huey P is the black sheep of the revolutionaries. Like mm. Huey P is one of my favorite. Well, obviously he's my favorite revolutionary. I like him, Khalid Muhammad, mm-hmm. Michael Mick. You know what I'm saying? I like because they really was out there putting in that work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like people, we got a lot of people that sound good talking, but who actually was out there hands on with the people doing work? Yeah. So I feel like. People don't give Huey P the credit that he deserved, especially with all the stuff that he did. Even, you know what I'm saying, he might not have been a perfect dude, but all the major things he did, he deserved way more respect and love than people give him. Yeah. So, yeah, that was another reason why I named my uh, EP The Black Sheep, because I feel like my whole life I've been a black sheep too. Mm. So. Meanings on meanings on meanings, y'all. All right. Oh, yeah. With that and being able to take on that title and having that feeling of being the black sheep and putting in the work, what are a few of your core values? For one, uh, respect, bro. Mm. Like, respect, respect, respect. I'm very huge on respect, bro. Mm. Like, <clears throat> like, you... You could be a racist motherfucker and don't like me. Just as long as you respect me, we ain't going to ever have a problem. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Respect goes both ways and goes a long way. So that's definitely one of them. I say loyalty. Mm-hmm. Anybody I rock with, people know how loyal I am. As long as it's reciprocated. Mm. You know, a, lot of, a lot of times it's not reciprocated. That's where the issues come in. Uh be authentic. Be you. Mm. Everybody in this world want to be somebody else and put on facades and stuff. Man. I'm not into none of that. Like, the way you see me is me all the time. You already know, bro. Like, when you met me, ain't no... When we, yeah. met, in L- when we met in L.A., bro, you already know. Like, ain't no ain't no faking it with me. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. I'm going to let yep. you know what's up. If I'm fucking with it, I'm not. Like, I feel like the world be way better if more people was like that. Like, yeah, and we can we already can speak about honestly where the world is headed with all of that with the emergence of the PC culture, entitlement culture, as well as anytime you say something that offends somebody else, um, you're at fault for it because you could tell somebody something that could actually open their mind or save their life. But they decide, yo, you're you're the one that's causing the problem within my life. And you get a number of people to jump on that. So it just makes it harder and harder to just let folks be able to see themselves. They don't want to look in the mirror. So you know what's going on. It's hard for them to oh, look yeah, in the mirror. Bro. Especially when you live your life like a lie. Mm. It's super hard to look in the mirror. <clears throat> yeah. And on top of those core values, was there any more? You got the you got respect, loyalty, uh, authenticity. Um well, yeah, I said be you. Yeah, mm-hmm. I said that. Uh be fearless. Mm. Mm. I, I don't like scared, like don't be no scared ass person. Like I don't like scared people. Like you could be cautious. Yeah. But scary is a different thing. Like people that scared to take chances, scared to take risks. Like don't be like that. You gotta be fearless. Like because if you ain't fearless in this world, it's gonna eat you up. Yeah. You know what I'm mm. saying? So, that'd be my last one, bro. I'm with that, and that's a four, y'all, right there. Y'all need to know the significance of the number four as well. <laughs> too gave us four of those right there. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, they'd be like, Ad, I couldn't pay my phone bill this month. It's all your fault. Yeah, no accountability. (laughs) No accountability in that situation. Again, yes, part partially their fault, but as well as partially, (laughs) you know, the parents and just the raising of their foundation. But you can even see some folks is either they're going to rise to the occasion to grow from it or they're going to let it literally hold them back. 
That's all up to them. Because then again, right. they're going to keep on making the same old mistakes, <clears throat> you know? Repeated cycles. And repeating all of those cycles. But again with that, Thank you for sharing those four, brother. Um, I am going to ask a follow another follow-up to him, but the next one I have for you is, why is it important to have some guiding morals and values? Because you'll, you'll be out here doing anything. Hmm. You'll, <laughs> you'll be out here being a whole other person that, that's not even you. A.K.A. selling your soul. Selling your soul don't always mean you're talking to the devil. You know what I'm saying? That means you out here doing something that you don't love and you don't agree with. Mm. But if you don't have no morals, then you'll you'll be out here doing anything. Mm. Anything. That's word. That's true. Yes, sir. Now, with that, to follow up to your core values... (laughs) I wanted you to give some visuals. So to you, how how does respect look like to you? Like what you mean? Like how it look? So, you know, when you say that, you know, you value the respect, you know, how do you how how do you see receiving that respect? Is it somebody, you know, giving you a handshake? Is it somebody um literally understanding that whatever you just said they're with it, even though if they may disagree, is that again how? Like, um, yeah, I mean, it could be like both of those. Like, uh, respect could be like I'd have been in situations where uh, and I had racist guys hold the door open for me, mm. or just. But I'm the type of person like I hold the I just hold the door open for the next person coming in. It's just me naturally. Yeah, but. I have instances where racist dudes will do the same for me. And it's not like they're trying to be friendly or no situation like that. It's just like on a mutual respect. Like, okay. Like, he a man, I'm a man type deal. Like, I can respect stuff like that. Or if we have a me and you, like, me and you, we have, we talk about a lot of different things all the time, offline, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like me, you having a conversation and we don't agree with each other. That don't mean I gotta beat beat down your throat or f- go crazy on you. You know what I'm saying? Or Kanye and sway you. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't have to do that to you. Yeah. You can just agree to disagree. You know what I'm saying? Just leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? And that's to me that's another form of respect because mm. we we not called each other out of names. You might not like what I said. I might not like what you said, but we respect each other enough to be able to move on from the situation or come to an agreement or whatever the yeah. situation may be. So like situations like that, like respect is a lot of ways, bro. Like Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All right, for sure. Thank you for Look that in, visual. What's out? Yeah. The next one, again, I'm going to say it again because I want to be able to get some visuals and also people to see this, too, and they can hear it. So what does then what does loyalty look like to you, like being loyal? Like, what does that look like? Uh, loyalty is knowing if I got your back, you got my back. Mm. If I'm down, well, if, if I'm up and you down, and I got you the whole time, and the situation was reversed. Yeah, I should expect the same love. That's loyalty. Got you. And how well, important is that to you? Everything. Hmm. Loyalty is everything, especially with me and the situation I've been through in my life. Like, because I seen a lot of disloyal shit. So, to me, loyalty is everything. Once I see you ain't loyal, I can't. I treat you accordingly. Mm. Yes, one is yes. That that's very tr- is very truthful. And I knew that I wanted to, of course, ask that and get some some visuals around that. Because again, some people may not even you know have some ideas or even be thinking about this stuff as well too. Of how like how does that look like to me in particular? Because we can always see it from the outside, but for you personally, how does someone show respect? How does someone show loyalty? How does someone show being authentic to themselves, you know, 
in your eyes. So Shoot, that's why I'm doing that. But go ahead, go ahead. Oh, yeah. What you uh, being authentic? That's simple. Just be you. Like if 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 I'm around you and you doing stuff I've never seen before, that means you being authentic. Or you telling me some conversation I never heard of, a perspective I never would have thought about. That's you, I could tell you being authentic. Mm. I could I could tell you something and you just not conforming to what I say. You got your own opinion, your own mind. That's being authentic. Cause like I said, there's a lot of fallen ass people in this world. Like, yeah, nobody want to be original. Everybody want to copy the next person. Yeah, but what people fail to realize is only one you. Yes. Like, that's way better than being somebody else in my eyes always. And I know that with myself, so I know who I am. So I stay true to myself, and that's how I move. Hmm. That's what's up. And then of course the last one, my man. Being courageous, what does that look like? Is that jumping out of an airplane? Is that no? Nah, that's 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 leaving that's leaving your family behind in Louisiana, leaving everything, leaving your ex, leave everything, mm. moving moving to Atlanta with like a thousand dollars. I ain't gonna lie, some zips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, it just saying fuck it. I'm finna make this shit happen. Mm. That's being courageous. That's what I did. I had to leave the streets behind. It was a lot of crazy shit going on. And it was like, I could stay out here and wild out, or I could just take a chance and believe in myself and just try it. So sh that's what I did, you hear me? I've mm. been in Atlanta ever since. And shit. Everything been going up, slowly but surely. That's what I'm talking about. Mm. Yes, sir. Mm. Y'all hear True that? True story. True story. Yes. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give. We gonna be yes, a fearless king. Yes, fearless king. Yes. Hashtag got the hashtag on there. Right. With that, getting into some music. This dude, of course, my brother EBT in the building. I'm a gangster in the gated community. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I thought I was, look, I thought I was too high. I'm like, I'm, am I tripping? Yeah, yeah, nah. E EBT coming in here with the bars at times. He just want to bar it up. So, shouts out to you, brother. If you don't know EBT, <laughs> please go check out Mr. KID Huey P. This is the brother right now that I'm interviewing, man. Check him out. You will not be disappointed. All y'all on here, if you haven't, please check him out. Again, oh, yeah. Spotify, you hear on Instagram, go click on the thing. It says more interviews up here, that arrow. And if you're not following, please follow the brother and you'll find all his content there on the page. All yeah, right. Follow me, I'll follow you back. Boom. Now, I'll follow you back. next question I got for you, because That's I know good. some people be curious, especially if we got our other artists that are up in here. You ain't got to give all the game. You ain't got to give all the smoke for it. What's but, up, my G? But again... Um, what is what is your creative process look like? Uh, okay, um, <laughs> my creative process is different. Like, because I have times where, like, I try to do some. I well, I do some of my music every day. As far as writing, I try to at least write something every day, mm -hmm. uh, even if it's just a bar or two, or. A concept I want to come up with, or, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mixtape name and something with music. Like I'm gonna do it, but it's like right, when I write a song or something, it just depends on the beat, bro. Honestly, mm. cause like the way I the way I move, like certain beats, bro. I could just freestyle. Like I'll say it probably like um, about seventy percent of my music that's out is freestyle, like. Mm. Just for me, especially like when I was recording myself all the time, I'm in the studio, bro. I'm just going in, bro. Like, and I'm like comfortable, super comfortable in my own little world. Have my, you know what I'm saying? That's when I was like the most productive and stuff. So, wow. Yeah, I get in them zones, bro. I could just go. But, but a lot of times, though, like on certain songs, I'd be wanting to take my time with it or. I want to write, so, or, or the beat might be so hard, I'd be like, oh, no, I got to write to it. If mm. the beat's too hard, bro, I'm like, I'm going to write to it. 
because I want to put some crazy on it. Like, yes. So it's just like I said, it just depends on how I feel about the beat, bro. Or sometimes if I'm not writing with no beat, I'll just write some crazy bars or just keep it like simple, or, you know what I'm saying? To like a little simple beat, mm. old hip hop beat or something. Yeah. And then I'll go back and see if I can put it on a song or something like that. Okay. But sometimes, I, like, I mean, I got like, like I said, oh, Louisiana I Mo, Louisiana Mo, volume oh, one, two. You know what I'm saying? When I'm in the studio, I could do stuff like that. Like, I done wrote verses in like five minutes mm. in the studio. And everybody's like, how the fuck you just do that? Like, <laughs> I done freestyle verses in five minutes. Like, wow. Yeah, I mean, it just depends on how I feel, bro, honestly. Got you. So you just go with the flow. Your your process is just creation and tapping in itself, and it can vary from from what anything. Bro. anything. I do all type of shit, bro. Like Dang. we, yeah. I'm a like I said when I when y'all hear all the music I got, I'm gonna be dropping this year. You'll see, bro. Like oh, I'm like I got so many different varieties of music. Hmm. R and soul, trap, conscious. Real hip hop, old hip hop, new hip hop, all that. I, got, I even got I got, I got a song with a French artist coming out this year, but I can't speak too much on that right now. But yeah, yeah. y'all got a little sauce right there, just a little sauce. It got a little small taste. Like, wait, what? Yeah, you gonna hear me? You gonna hear me spitting in French and stuff a little bit? But yeah, man, I got a okay. lot of shit. A lot of a lot of moves have been made behind the scenes. Glad to hear that. And again, y'all, I'm gonna just give y'all. I'm not gonna even end up saying a warning. I'm just gonna end up saying, if y'all are not used to punchlines on punchlines on punchlines, y'all better get <laughs> used to some punchlines, punchlines on punchlines. Because I'm telling you. <laughs> this this brother when he come in on some beats like he not gonna let you breathe. You gonna get all of these lines. Of course you gonna catch some, but then there's you gonna some get of them. this work. <laughs> you gonna get this work, man. Bars yeah. is not dead. Bars is still alive, man. They living through me. Yeah, bro. I I value the bars, bro. Mm. Yes, EBT KO for sure. Yes, BBK in the beats, and then if you ain't ready, you, you gonna get KO'd. Your house might get KO'd, burnt. I was playing, but man, again, y'all, the bars are here. Break another one down. All right, moving on with some more of the questions. Which again, y'all, if y'all have any questions yourselves, please throw them down in the comments. We appreciate you adding them to the interview so don't be afraid again be fearless be you be authentic okay and just drop those down in there if y'all feeling it man but with that i'm gonna move to another part in the segments that i like to call fun questions but you know some people might find it fun some people might not <laughs> all right go ahead bro Let's got something for you bro so your thing bro so with my fun questions, I always have a would you rather. So I got that first one for us. And this is for everybody out there, too. If y'all want to answer these questions along with QEP or Mr. KID QEP, yours truly, y'all y'all can go ahead and do that as well as I'm saying them, okay? So. Yours. Mm. True. That's fire. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna have to cop some merch from you, though, bro. You got to yeah, talk. bro. I need to I get got, some merch. I got merch. I got merch dropping soon, too. I had to. I, I used to have merch, and then I had stopped doing the merch, but I'm about to go back to it. Yeah, Pluto Gang, right? Am, am, am yeah. I, am I, yeah, bro. Look, yeah, you been, look, you I was peeping. Story, I was, I was, I'm just was peeping, bro. I was getting ready, you know, because I was like, I need to drop some on there, man. If I ain't rocking any brands, which I ain't got none of myself, I'm definitely going to rock the homies. Always. Oh, yeah. I'm rocking but yes, so first question. That's all y'all out there too. This is would you rather? So, of course, you're the revolutionary. You already know the activist, artist extraordinaire. Of course, I'm gonna give you would you rather around in that area. It might just be a simple, of course, but still, would you rather fight for a worthy cause, but never receive any monetary rewards and be ridiculed, or 
participate in a cause that benefits you greatly, but has little impact to the world and you are celebrated for it. Definitely the first one. Mm. And I'm, why is that? Because I don't give a fuck about fame and none of that shit, bro. Mm. Like I'm different. I actually care about the work. Cause like if I if I cared about that, bro, I would have been signed a deal and all that shit, bro. Like I turned down deals because of that. You know what I'm saying? That goes back to the morals and stuff, bro. Like that'll be like me selling out for the money and shit. And me being authentic to myself, being me. Yeah. I gotta go team one, bro. I'm with it. I'm with it. I see I see some more of you in the comments. I see y'all sharing along and adding to it. Appreciate y'all. Of course. I it's just straightforward, but like that's a re- I, a lot of these would you rather questions, they pop in my head. So it's as at random. I get some help, but then I make them my own. So nah, I had bro. to for this, man. Um good, bro. next thing I got for you, brother, is Finish this line. So you create whatever you want with this. Since you the bar king over here. Uh, finish this line. All right. I'm going I'm to make it round since you just said that. All right. <laughs> All right. The diamond in the rough. I limbo boy. Nah, what's that, brother? A diamond in the rough. Mm-hmm. That's, that's the line? Yeah. So I, I literally, you finishing it. So it's like, finish this line. I'm, I, I'm not completing the whole sentence for you. You, you coming up with a, the last like, part. I got, I got bars, like, What's that, brother? I got bars that like flip with that. Like, go for it, I said, bro. Like, Cause you said, like, I said, I'm a diamond in the rough. I just pray that you find a gem. There it is, y'all. Mm. Again, I didn't even know. Look, I didn't even know. I just put that out there again. You was like, I already got one ready and loaded to The go. crazy, like, I really, I'm telling you, bro, I was like, I'm like, diamond rough. I'm like, this easy. I, I got bars that. Cause I was like, I'm a diamond in the rough. I just prayed that you found the gym. Just copped Apex like I wouldn't have found the gym. Mm. Y'all get it? Eight packs? Found the gym? Gym? Eight packs? Ain't even a six. He said an eight. All right, come on. Come on. Yeah, I was, I was copping that big boy shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for sure. All right. Next one I got for you. This one's a riddle, so you can take your time with trying to um, find the answer to analysis. it. So this one is a riddle. What question can you never answer yes to? What I think I might be too high for this shit. <laughs> what you said, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I don't is know why it, I just processed in my brain crazy. Like he's like, wait, where, where did that end up going? Say, so, so what question can you never answer yes to? What question can I never answer? Oh, I mean, it's a lot of shit I can never answer yes to. <laughs> Go for some swings. I have one here, but again, if it fits, it fits. Uh, being a sellout. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't. I, I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm doing it right. <laughs> oh, it's look it. It's all good. I know. Look it. I'm learning That's how to implement them in here. It's it's a riddle in the sense of. Like you don't want to answer, like you can't answer a yes to it. Which I once I give the answer, you'll be like, okay, I, okay, now I know what you're talking about. Okay, let me see what you're talking about, bro. Yeah. So I get, you, I get, I get, I get appreciate you know, y'all. You know I'm too high to, for this, bro. <laughs> so the answer that they, that it has for the riddle is, uh, so the question you can never say yes to is, are you asleep yet? Oh wow! Yeah, I, was never, <laughs> I never was gonna get that. Yes, yeah, a riddle. I never was gonna get that. I can oh. tell you right now, bro. 
Oh, you good, bro? I'm, honestly, if I was on the other side too, bro, I probably <laughs> I like, would never got. I've never got that too, man. I was looking, so I was like, wait, what? Like, I get it, but it'll just be like, yeah, yeah. I never was gonna get that one, bro. Oh man, you good, bro? You good? good. <laughs> again, trying things, doing different things, new things again. Okay, so yeah, man, it's like that. He said, "Say it again." He said, "The question that you can never answer a yes to is." Are you asleep yet? You asleep already. You ain't asking yourself you yes that you asleep. Can't do that. Unless you, I don't know. We're not going to even say no alter worlds or any of that. But let's move to the last one I got for you. All right, and then we're going to move back to the other ones that we're going to talk about this project that she just dropped. So. Let's go. I bet I'm rolling up. Handle it. I'm listening. So. What is one wise saying that someone has told you that still holds true today? Hey, man, this might sound funny, but <laughs> my uncle used to say this shit, and it's so funny. <laughs> it's, mm. funny cause, it's funny because it's funny because you think about it, it's true. Mm. And and I quote, he would say, "Hey, young blood, mm. don't you always see two dogs fucking, but you'll never see two cats fucking." Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what? Yo. <laughs> Bro, this nigga. <laughs> Bro, think about it though. <laughs> when the, when you seen two cats having sex? Yeah, bro. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, yeah, no, <laughs> no. I'm like, yeah, no. Like on the real. That shit is crazy, bro. I was like, oh shit. Oh my I said, goodness. this nigga is on to something. <laughs> He was on nigga, something. He was on something for sure. This nigga was on to something. <laughs> he was on to feel something for sure. That nigga made sure. some scientific measures. This fool said scientific measures. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hey. Stop playing, man. That shit funny, though. Oh, hey, my goodness. True right. story. Rest in peace, Uncle TL, man. With the universe. With the universe and the ancestors. Yeah, y'all. So yes, yes, it's all good again. Hey, he was making hey, this I saw, interview. I saw it in your face though. You was thinking about it. He was like, "Damn, he got a point." That's why. I mean, that's how I had to stop. I had to stop, and I was thinking. I was just like, "Yo, okay, on the real." I was just <laughs> super, when you said funny, I was waiting. I'm like, "What?" And they're like, I didn't think it was gonna be that funny. Like in that particular realm, I was all like, right, "Oh, man. okay." Hey, man, y'all got like surprises. But with that, man, those were the questions. I had some fun questions. Um, That's what's up. A little something here and there. I appreciate your answers to them, brother. And I appreciate y'all's answers in the comments as well, too. So thank y'all for participating and being along with this. Awesome. So getting back to the other questions we got for the interview, let's jump into this recent drop. And in the background right now, Step is playing in particular. But Tell us a bit about your project, The Story of a Black Sheep. The Story of a Black Sheep. So I know you gave us a bit in the beginning in telling about how you was feeling like you was a black sheep, you know, a begin in the beginnings of your life and even right now. But give us a bit about just the project in itself. Yeah. Um, when it comes to the black sheep, bro, like... I dropped it because, like, many reasons, like, to show the world that I'm totally different from everybody else. Mm. Like, my, my music don't sound like anybody's music. I don't sound like anybody but myself. Like, I take pride in that. Like, I, I made sure I perfected my craft over the years to where even if I did hop on somebody else's song, I'm going to still sound like me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So that's one of the aspects that I was going into when I dropped this 
I also wanted to drop a different variety of different tracks to show like my versatility. Mm. To show people like I could do this and it's really easy. Like you can tell by the way I'm rapping on that it is easy, bro. Like it's like it, it's it's to the point where it's, it's easy to me now. Like I'm having fun with it all the way. So mm. that's why I dropped it too, just to show people like they used to be dropping all conscious music, you know what I'm saying? Like and I wanted to show people that I could do something else too. Hmm. Pretty much. And I can I show. Man, I was gonna say that. I was like, on my end, you definitely did, for sure. <laughs> definitely. I mean, we got to talk, of course, um offline about this a little bit. But yeah, brother, for sure, you definitely for me hit that mark. If y'all don't know again, if you don't know the project we're talking about. Please go check it out on Spotify, all streaming platforms. Story of Black Sheep. The Story of a Black Sheep. And again, it's Mr. K-I-D Huey P, okay? Like, check all of that out so then you know what we're talking about. You'll get to see. If not, Hold if you just get introduced right now, please go back and just check just check the plethora of his, his, the music that he got out, okay? Especially on yeah, SoundCloud man. if you want to see some of the, the mistakes, mixtapes and everything. Yeah. For sure. You can even go back to that pill. That true. <laughs> yes. What up, cousin? He said the goat. That's mm -hmm. my cousin. He, he, hey, it's crazy. He actually um inspired me to rap. Mm. Too. Like he's a part of that story too. And that's beautiful. Hey, see, we even more and more as the interview continues to get more and more added to the story, y'all. The story of a black sheep. The story is a Huey P, y'all. Um. Uh, some papers. With that, with that G papers. How long was this project in production? So how long did it take? Um, honestly, bro, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. Mhm. Mm the story of Black Sheep did take no time to put together because I recorded so many songs and like spare nobody. Same old mistakes. Mm -hmm. Hustlers ambition. Them songs is like three years old, bro. Mm. I just been sitting. I just been sitting on those songs. That's what I'm saying. Like I got so much music. Like it's crazy. <laughs> like, cause like you know, I had a couple of hiccups throughout the years. I went through a lot of traumatic stuff. Yeah. So you know, I ended up taking a year off when I found out I had a son too. Hmm. Which was crazy. So, you know what I'm saying? I had to step up. And I decided to take a year off my music with that. And then, uh, but the whole time I still was working, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, only new songs was like Step, Stand Out. Those was like the only new songs on there. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. And, and Do It Like Me. Do It Like Me was like three years old. Oh, wow. Like those, oh, like people, like nobody even heard. Like Step is like some new UEP. Okay, yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, but when y'all hear this new music, I got even like the stuff I got with my cousin. Like we got some crazy shit, bro. Finna drop. Mm. Okay, some crazy. Yeah, bro. What's up, bro? Man. And and with that too, some of the tracks on there, of course, I gotta say that are are my favorites. I got step. You know, I got same old mistakes. And of course, I do like spare nobody as well, brother. Yeah, that's my most. That's my number one single. Yeah, so I mean, you had that career. one out. Yeah, you had that one out for a minute in that video too. Y'all check out Huey Peak. UEP's YouTube, you can see all these videos as well, too, some of these tracks. Yes, sir. Yeah, I, hit Again, over, I, I finally hit over 100K on this Spare Nobody, so. Mm, oh, dope. yeah. I saw your post with it, too. God! That was dope. <laughs> Pretty fire, bro. And congratulations on that as well. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah, that's it. So we got Keita said, um, favorite tracks is Do It Like Me, Spare Nobody, and Step. Is that fire? That's what I'm talking about. That's what's yeah. up. 
Feature A2 Kita, you already know the game. Mm. Stop playing. And then I know you already ended up giving us out um the message Mr. for McGuire. you message for you. But what is one message from this project that you want your listeners um to get and know, besides of course that you can be very versatile in what you're doing. And it's easy. Um listen to my lyrics. Mm. Really listen to what I'm saying. Like when I'm talking about same old mistakes and when I'm talking on like hustle's ambition, like really listen to it. Like I know Step and Do It Like Me and all the other songs gonna have you turn. So but like listen to them songs too. Cause like especially same old mistakes, like that's like a therapeutic song. Like it's like therapy. Mm. It's it's that conversation you gotta have with yourself in the mirror. That's why I put it on there. Like yeah, and I love the production on it. I love the production on that one for sure. Shout out to my boy Magnet Hands on the beat. <laughs> he killed that shit, bro. He when I heard it, and he was like, "Yo, that's crazy," because he would have. He said he had no idea that I would have flipped it like that. So like, shit crazy. But like I said, on same old mistakes. You either learn from mistakes, so they continue to hunt you. Be a dog chasing his tail, just going in circles. In circles. Take action with change. Don't be content with the verbal. This proves your true character, traits, and virtue. Like, this is what I'm saying, bro. That's some real shit. I know the And then the rest of bro, <laughs> look at today at work, bro, that last, the next line after that, those few bars has been, was playing in my head the rest of the way when I was at work. I couldn't listen to no music, so the only thing that was playing in my head was that last part. And I know you worried if the drug hurts. hurts you. I'm not, because I practice Dr. <laughs> Dr. Safety, Safety Herbal. Herb. Bro, I was in there saying that multiple times. I'm over here moving boxes back and forth, man. Man, people don't be listening to me, man. It's all good. Though. But what up, Javi? What's up? But yeah, yeah, man. man. Like, yeah, bro. I'm with it. Okay. Listen to the lyrics, y'all. It's important. Tap in. All right. Got a few more questions for you, brother. And then there is an option for you, too, if you wanted to spit some other stuff for us, too, towards the end to end out the, the interview. You can of do course, that as well. Of you, of you, you already know it got to, man. I got to add that in there. Um, and all then, right, of course, plug see. all your stuff and everything there. So, But that's, again, once we get towards the end. I got four more for you, then we'll be out of here with that. Uh, next right, one. Good. Along being an artist, of course, musician, MC, what other passions do you have? Of course, we've talked about, I know you got the activism, you have other things, but what are some other passions you have outside of music? Um, art. Um, I'm trying to think of stuff that I ain't really talk about. I talked about a lot already. Um, I like designing. Mm. But in particular, like clothes and stuff. I'm actually okay. dope with. I just don't be having that much time to be doing it. I like producing beats. Oh yeah, see, I need to. I don't even know if. if have you showed me anything? What you produced? Uh, I don't know. I think yeah. I don't. I think I might be making you wait for the album too. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, I got I got some little nice beats out of me, bro. Like, but like I got said, I ain't, I don't really be having that much time to do it. So, mm. I got my I got like a team of producers I rock with, like my boy Solomon Carvo Music, uh, Hitman Audio. That's who made Spare Nobody is playing the background. Mm-hmm. Like he he going crazy up right now. Like he's doing songs Black Youngster, Forty Two Doug, Roddy Rebel. Mm. Like everybody, bro. Like he's going crazy. Okay. Like, like J D. Young and Young Boy. He like he's doing a lot of people. Like he's going up. So it's it's crazy because I actually like he started rocking with me before he blew up. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It was dope. So we've been locked in. So it, it, it's crazy. Like a lot of relationships I have with a lot of people that's popping with it or whatever you want to say. You got cloud whatever. Yeah. 
I met them organically, like on some natural. We met in real life, you know what I'm saying? So, and it's nothing Florida, like that. Saying? Yeah, it'd be different, bro. Yeah, I'm it's grateful different. for all of them. Go ahead. That's how we met, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yep. In person. You got to, man. I mean, it's Taking great. It's in great. The building. Yeah, it's great. I'm glad I've met a lot of folks, you know, via, you know, social media, you know, the pros and cons with it. But again, to me, there's nothing like face to face in reality, not met, not the metaverse, not any of this other stuff, but meeting in reality for sure. Oh, yeah. Get the whole thing, get the whole package, the whole experience. Most diff. Now, next question I got for you, brother, is. Back to back. I'll do the first one before. I don't want to put multiple questions on you. But the first one. Where do you see yourself in the next few years? I see myself household name. I see myself having my son with me. Mm. Living, ducked off, recording music, and traveling. Mm. And cha- changing the world, man, one mind at a time. No, that's my goal. I'm with that. And one yes, mind brother. At a time. Yes. And yes, chicken and beef. It is Huey P. Newton reincarnated on YouTube. That's correct. Yes. Oh, man. So. Along with that, brother, and I'm glad, man, I'm I'm loving that, seeing yourself in a few years, being able to do those things. What is your ultimate goal with all your passions? Of course, like you're saying, to influence and make an impact, but give me a little bit more on top of that. My ultimate goal is to have an influence in the overall mind state of our people mm. in, a, in a positive way, though. Like, I want my influence to be, even when I'm gone, like, he showed how to be a real one. Like, if they could take any qualities from me, it was to be real, be authentic, be fearless. You know, all those, the morals and traits I talked about earlier. Yeah. That's my ultimate goal. And make people think, bro. Yeah. That's what my music... That's why I write like I write. That's why I talk about what I talk about. It's to make people think. And again, when y'all listen to it, again, that's one of the messages he wants to put out there. Listen to the lyrics. The code, the the gems are all in there. Either you go into the gym or, you know, hopefully you finding yourself a gym that's in the diamond in the rough. Like, all of that. Like, just pay attention and, you know, you got a piece of the game, but the rest of that that game is for you to pick up and run it for yourself, too. Yes, sir. But nah, that's what's up, brother. Again, and then embodying that essence and uh, being QEP Newton reincarnated because QEP is trying to wake up as people, organize, you know, in a positive way and instill also that, you know, that, that fearlessness and the strength and the power. So. I hear you, brother. Most definitely. Right. So, two more for you, and again, do do all the other formalities, and we'll be out of here. So, <laughs> all right, what are your thoughts, and I'm going to break it up into two, what are your thoughts on the revolution in connection to your life and what you see? I mean, that's why I pretty much went with the slogan change it one mind at a time because the way I see the world and mm-hmm. how people is now, like how people are so easily influenced and everybody's like I said, falling. Nobody wants to be a leader, stand out. You know what I'm saying? Um there's a lot of evil going on right now in the world. Yeah. And I don't see nothing changing no time soon unless Like I said, you change one mind at a time. So, Mm. you know what I'm saying? You might not can reach 
fifty people, but you probably could reach three. And yeah. Those three could reach three more. You know what I'm saying? It's just a trickle effect, like. Yes. And to spread like wildfire, you know what I'm saying? It got to be like a mindset that we have in the community, like even killing each other like for no reasons and stuff like that. Like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or kids getting shot and stuff like. We got to be able to, to not even have that in our mindset. Yeah. Like, it, sh- it shouldn't even be a thought in our mindset for to do something like that. But it takes, like I said, one mind at a time. You know what I'm saying? You got to be realistic with it. It ain't like you just change the world like that. Yeah. But it can. You can't have a trickle effect. Like what Pac said. I That's what I was about to yep. world, But I could spark the mind at will. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So, man, you touched on it because I was just about to say that too. Because that's where I was getting from what you were saying, brother. It was that, and you already again. We tapped in <laughs> right now, man. We tapped in right now. Yeah, man, you already know, brother. My yeah. brother Spitter was And on a random side note, before I get to the second part of the the question, yeah. Again, remind me again. You said uh, my hustler's ambition was written. You said three years ago. Yeah. Bro, your bar in there says we don't believe you, Jesse Smollett interview. Look at this mess. You see what happened with <laughs> Bro, bro just brought this to light. We don't believe you, and you was correct because this dude lied about all of that, man. Oh, man, yeah, bro. I be, I'm ahead of my time, bro. <laughs> I'm funny. It's funny you just called that. Yeah, but bro. like I said, it's fun. Like I'm gonna have to start telling people about that. Like, I that shit is old, bro. Like, yeah, I'm sitting on music on top of music, like, and just elevating more and more. Yes, sir. But y'all get ready for all the drops and all the excitement with the music coming. So y'all gotta stay peeled and tuned with that. Now, the second one, because I talked about it earlier, and part of what you were saying earlier with your project is to be able to show that you can jump in and be into different styles. So you tell me, what are your thoughts on versatility, especially again, in connection to your passions and in general in the music? Man, you gotta be versatile. You're like, but that's like, that's like even with your bread, with your money, you, mm. know, you gotta have multiple streams of income. Like you'll be a fool out here. If you're just sitting on one, like one idea or just working one job and trying to, okay, this is my everything. Because they could take that from you any day. Then what you going to do? Because mm. I'd have been in those situations. Like, me being able to hustle and just do my thing. So, save me in a lot of situations. Because mm. if I was out here depending on one thing, bro, you you going to be asked out. So, yep. But even with, even with the music, bro, like, if you only got one lane, you only going to last so long. Over with. Mm. So that's that's why I don't get into like trying to sound like anybody, trying to be like these other artists and stuff. That's why I just be myself, cause I I could I could jump in anybody lane, like I could do anything, literally. You put any beat on, I can go in on it, like it don't matter. Yeah. So, like, cause nobody out here can do it like you. You hear it in the background, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know I gotta plug it in. I gotta plug it in, man. You know, cause we know Huey P stand out, y'all. Huey P stands out. Definition and, of beauty was popping. Where it was on with you. All right. And this is the last question I got for you, brother. And before I do that last again. Last question of the interview. Yes. And before I do that, thank you again, brother, for coming through and giving up your time. Um, appreciative oh, yeah. of you doing that. And, you know, I'm always sending you much love and much success to all your future drops. And when any of that happens, you know, I'm going to be there be able to um, tune in and check in with you and see what's going on. So thank you for coming on again, brother, for this interview. I'm going to send you some exclusive shit when we get out the uh, live, too. Y'all can't know. I'm not sharing any of this, y'all. Too bad. Sorry. Y'all can't have the treats. I got, I got the extra treats. But thank you, brother. <laughs> um, As well as thank you to everybody else, too, who's came and yeah, who's been here with us. Yeah, I appreciate came in. Because I've been seeing a lot of people in and out. I know it's been yes. a long interview. I appreciate everybody that even came in. Yes, thank y'all. And again, if y'all don't know, please, this is more interviews, memoirs of our real experiences, and this is the brother, Mr. KID QEP. Go check this brother out on all places, YouTube, streaming platforms, yeah, all tap around in with me. 
You follow me, I'm gonna follow back. Definitely waffles over pancakes. Okay, I'm with you on that. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like they can I I saw that comment, waffles all day. <laughs> Waffle, let me like that. Waffles. Boom. All right. Last question I got for you, brother. This is always my ending and guiding question for everyone. And it's very simple. What up, Cliff? Or it can be as 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 again as difficult you want to make it. But I like to ask everybody this. So when it comes to life, your ambitions, people, all things under the sun, is it quality or the quantity? It's the quality, bro. Mm. And why is that? It's the quality. Because uh, I'd rather have five dope-ass albums front to back than 30 trash ones with a few mm. good songs all day long. I'd rather smoke a zip of za. <laughs> Versus a QP or some bullshit. I'm just saying. I'm just okay. saying, bro. It's like, it's. A, <laughs> I mean, like, and the crazy, like, but that's like, I'm not even gonna lie. Like with me though, it's crazy yeah. because I always wanted to combine those two. Mm. So that's how I, I like. That's how I try to make my body a work: quality and quantity. That's what I'm saying. Like everything y'all hear, I drop is gonna be like sounding great. Like those songs, three years old, bro. Like people, yeah. that's not even how I sound now. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's just it's just gonna get crazy out here, man. He's forewarning you already, okay? Already forewarning you. But I'm with that, brother, man. Again, thank you for. All of your open and again authentic, you know, answers, and I appreciate always the time that we get to spend. And now we people get to see this, you know, live. And now you have, you know, yeah, man, this to share on there too. So again, y'all, please, if you don't know, please go check out the brother, Mister KID QBP. And if some of y'all don't even know what the KID is, guess what? Go back and listen in the interview because you'll find it somewhere in there. You know, you got to watch it back again. But this brother gets down. Um, if you don't know, dude's down to earth. Such a dope brother. And really just giving y'all gems to pick up again. Get him out the out the dirt and just run with him. Okay, he said, I, fo- I love, subscribed and followed. That's what's up. That's what I'm going much on. Love to exactly. You, I'm going to follow you back, bro. Yes. And, and definitely roll up some of that Zyber. <laughs> but We're again... Ooh. Now I'm talking about, we talking about the quality. Oh yeah, not the, the quality, <laughs> not the quantity, the quality. <laughs> oh man. Okay, brother. Um, again, you have the option if you want to um wanted to spit and share anything with us, you definitely can. And before you do that too, um, put all your plugs and everything else in there too, so folks can again get it all where they can find you. Man, it's underscore Huey P Newton on everything. My YouTube is the only thing that's different. It's Huey P. New Reincarnated. Y'all go follow and subscribe on there. Y'all follow me on here. Y'all stay tapped in because I'm going to be dropping hella music. I got hella big shit that's already in place. That mm. I had in place for a minute. But y'all just not finna see it. I've been keeping quiet about it. I made some more moves, you know what I'm saying? I just start saying, I'm going to just start showing people rather, rather just telling y'all what's going on so y'all just start seeing. So stay tapped in and you're going to see a lot. You hear me? Like, and, um, you know what I'm saying? Go stream the story of Black Sheep. If you ain't heard it, it's going crazy right now. Like like 10K on Spotify. A couple hundred downloads on Apple Music. You know what I'm saying? We're doing pretty good. Independently too, you know what I'm saying, and it's all me, no team. It's just Huey P. Mm. It's a testament to your work. Testament. Hey man, everything you see on my page is all me. From the marketing to the, 
even my videos, like I edited my last video. Like Dang. Creole God. Yeah, I did Creole God. Again, <laughs> y'all. Again, y'all. I know, I know. I'm just I'm just again. I was just like, yo, that's a that's definitely a lot of work, especially for those who don't know being a creative and also having art, having your own life outside of this working. If you have kids, if you have fa- all the other responsibilities and things out there, you balancing exactly. all of that. Yeah, bro. But all right. I guess. Well, you got me, anything um, for us? You got some, got some, got some, some words, some bars, some poetry, whatever you want to end up doing, bro. I really got, of course. Uh, the floor is all see. yours. I'm a, uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna spit that. What up, Carvo? Hey, my boy Carvo, music in the building. Before I even spit anything, that's the that's the that's my brother. I was telling you about the producer engineer. Yes, he's the he's the guy, bro. Y'all follow him if y'all yes. need beats, especially if you're an artist, you serious about your work. That's the guy you hit up. Okay, look it. I know you're. I know. I know. I'm gonna. You're gonna be like, yeah, duh. But now it just hit me because one time I was on a Mickey Fax live, and he was like, yo, I'm in the car waiting for my uh, for my producer Carvo. That's him. Shouts out to you, Carvo. Not only just because of Mickey, the Mickey Facts, but bro, with Huey P as well. Like, shouts out to you, brother. Man. Hey, okay. man, I'm telling y'all, tap in. If you're a serious artist, that's the guy. That's the guy, man. I, I'm trying to give you the sauce. Mm. <laughs> mm. I'm only going to say it once, and it's old. There it is. All right, brother. It's yeah. all you. Yeah, I'm going to spit that verse to stand out. All right. And then I'm going uh, <laughs> to do a couple of old verses. You probably already heard it before, but I know a lot of them probably ain't never heard it. But it don't matter. But, uh, yeah, here you go. I'm a real run from the South who spit, and I write my own hieroglyphs. Yeah, I'm built for this. Remember, I ain't have a pot to piss, and I got to thank God for this. They can't tell me shit. Cause I had to struggle and hustle and learn all these lessons. Some people in life only sees and stop stressing. I care for shit like King and Law off of taking my nigga to be alive. That is a blessing. I tell you, I'm reckless and wild and inflicting. Started from bottom, but top I was destined. You niggas talking steppers, but I've been stepping. Traveled the world, but East Side I'm still repping. I'm a young guy, so my words and my weapon, but don't make me lay hands on them and stretch them. All my goons, dolls, watch them go fetch them and wet them. These rappers ain't cool to me. All I see is coonery and foolery, but but please don't confuse me. You know it's Huey P, the P stands for preach. Gotta watch a leech and vampire suck your energy. Vibe is out, there's no chemistry, so it's impossible for synergy. We can never ever be no friend to me. So don't have your hand out if you wasn't with me when this man down. While I'm on my way to these bands now, try to take it from me, man down. On my ten toes, I would stand down. Known as the kid, but the man now. You was a hater, now you fan out. Mm. Mm. And then I stand out. Yeah. What's that? Yeah, yeah, bro. You seeing all the love that's all up in there, man. Shoot. Oh, yeah. What's up? What up? What up? Man. <laughs> see, I don't know what I'm talking about. Y'all see all the punches, right? Y'all, and, you know, for those really listening to the bars, you know, like all them punches, man. Oh, yeah. yeah let me see. I get some of uh, why the world sleeping on me? No permanent coma. I guess they lost their taste in real music. That Corona, the queen so bad. I wish I could Gucci man clone her. Aroma of my marijuana, California. When your pockets on shrink, you get Princess Fiona. Ironically, the op into the room, then he's a goner. Spit about my real life. No fabricated personas. Bumping Tupac and the outlaws. Leading all the loners. This to hire me. A letter from my diary. Inspire thee. Christ consciousness on velocity. Philosophy. Supreme being deity. Don't believe in Socrates. Hypocrisies. Hypotheses. CMCs can't fuck with me. They can't hang apostrophe. I'm a bank Apollo Creed. Junior punches running through your Foja Karma Sutra. No Oklahoma, but you know my time coming sooner. I'm just chilling mm. with the wolf gang howling at the loon. Wait, that, lo- that last part, that last word, that last part, nobody, no, a lot of people's not going to get if they don't know about the Oklahoma Sooners. Nobody ain't going to know about that as well as, the- come on now. <laughs> you said, God, man. It's too easy, man. Yes. Let's go. Yes. Come on. It's too give easy. Like one, one, two, three. He's oh, yeah. like one, two, three. Bro, all right, continue. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> it's some old bars. I'm a genius, baby. This is my thesis. You can catch me with an ESIS. Racist chain history. Why is the reason? We was kings, but they were screaming out treason. Call a racist crack a demon. Giving black woman designer for semen. Why would young Huey P try to fight back against this racist system? They call me a heathen. I know the reason, politically speaking. Mm. They flow nice, but I'm mean to you the follower. I'm a leader. Now I'm on got the big head like I'm Gina. Used to drink the act like it was Aquafina. Used to be a real drink sipper, but I had to quit her. Especially when I found out I was fucking up my kidneys and my liver. Got a queen, no thoughts of divas. I'm off the docks, flow off the meter. Won't stop until I'm in your speaker. Hope you got some knocks and bass and some tweeters. Used to sell green for some speakers. Nineties flow, just like <laughs> beeper. Dope flow straight out the needle. Yeah, we both human, but we still not equal. I could never be beneath you. You transparent, boy, you see through. Clean it real, but they be fucking fried. Get put over, then take his charge. Pluto gang nigga don't fuck with Mars. No Zans, they cannot fuck with my bars. I be so high, I be watching TV, really thinking I be dancing with the stars. Mm. <laughs> I'm from the boot like the Creole and Boodle. <laughs> Toast the only tiny to toast the scrutal. If you a dog, I'm a pit bull, you a poodle. Aim at your noodle, pull off in the Uber. Chopper so big it's the size of a tuba. Free my shooter, Miro, and my dog Scooter. I'm the big kahuna, boy, you just tuna. Only keys you move is on the computer. I know they hate me, but they cannot phase me. Front of the streets everywhere, I go off gravy. I get this shit, little nigga, I'm wavy. Keep them books on me like I'm Tom Brady. Bro. <laughs> don't, don't <laughs> Don't tolerate no disrespect. You get checked. My flow sick. I disinfect. Batter up. I'm up next, bitch. Dang. Y'all, and honestly with that, because you know this onslaught will continue to continue to continue. If y'all don't know now, please, man. Y'all have gotten acquainted, and y'all know for sure. And again, this is all acapella. Um, Alcapoco is how I like to say Acapoco. it. Alcapoco. Alcapoco is how I like it. This hey, is right. Evans. Yes. I swear. I all I ask for, all I ask for, I just pray the world hear my frequencies and feel my vibrations. Amazing. Mm -hmm. I could change the life of conversation. His eulogy, DOE, date of expiration. Watch your right hand, even God bestie was Satan. With that said, it's still so much to say. Forever, always trusting everybody ain't a good fate. See a beat. Eat a I love big old peanuts. And then it's payday. Try to take my my heat get hotter than May Day. Then you gonna be screaming out May Day. Said he from the streets, but he means suburbs drive away. One from niggas selling yay to rock MK. Take his stash like that dude did yay and Kim K. I'm a lyrical spiritual open mind individual on my ground for residuals, middle finger to ridicule. Conclude, I've been that dude since back in middle school. My cup runneth over for my niggas is plentiful. Mm. My plug got a Philly like to call me the young bull. Play with me, you get the E.T. plus the bull. Bruh. We call him, Rod we call him Rodeo. He round clowns who own bull. Ironically, don't stop to clip empty and body full. Never thought I would make it this far. I started broke, but me and that bitch, we grew apart. Mm. I'm a hole in one. These other rappers just part. I'm beating average rappers' souls out. Bars. Y'all. And I'm with that, y'all. And with that, y'all, because if not, I'm man, just saying. my computer is, or not my computer, but my phone is going to overheat, and I don't need it overheated because I got some other things to be getting attended to. I'm just saying. Man. Tap in. It's going to go down this fucking year. I ain't playing with none of these rap niggas. Nobody. None the of The bars them. is there. The bars is there. I got the ghost fucking with it. Ghost, man. ghost, yeah. Ghost. I got that yeah, King Ghost follow. Yeah, man. Y'all gonna see that, man. Man, yeah, hey, Carvo. Tap in, man. Thanks for the we follow, the brother. Music, man. Me and yes. Carvo Music, we got some shit, you hear me? Y'all wait, y'all wait till we drop this shit. I'm telling you. When we when y'all hit this shit, we finna drop, y'all gonna be like, damn. And then when y'all see, like, I got some big, big people backing me now. Like, I got some big meetings to go to. You know what I'm saying? Me and Carvo been in the lab. We deserve these moments. Mm -hmm. My brother, 
my brother, you already know, we locked in for life. Oh, yeah. You know it's like that. Yeah, you already know. <laughs> and since we met L.A., it's been number love, my brother. And I appreciate you for bringing me on your plat platform. Yeah. My of course. <laughs> of course, brother. You know, you know I have to saying? extend that. I have to extend that because, again, man, you know, and I hope, I your hope authenticity. Was worth, you know, I hope the interview was what you expected or, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. It's definitely. Yeah, I feel like we went up. You know, I see. I see a lot of people come in too. So you know, what I'm saying like, I think it was a yes. dope interview. You know, what I'm saying I expressed some stuff I never said publicly. Yes. You know, and I'm saying? great. My too. brother, my brother Calhoun in the building. What's up, Calhoun? Yeah, you yeah, coming through at the up, end, brother. I got. I'm gonna send you my new number, bro. Cause we gotta chop it up for real. Mm. Smiley Music Group. What's good? Yeah, man, y'all, I mean, a lot of people, y'all missed the interview. I don't know how if you save it. I don't know what you'll do, but yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so, brother, so how I was going to go is that this going to be saved on my IG, so I'll have it. And then within oh, yeah, okay. five, five to about seven days, I upload it to YouTube, so then people can replay and watch it there as oh, well. Brother. So it's going to be Instagram and YouTube, so this is where y'all can catch this on a replay if y'all want. But with that, oh, yeah. y'all, again, Thank you, brother, for coming through. Thank you for your time. <laughs> Always much What's love up, to bro? you. And thank What's you to up, everybody up? for coming through, even all y'all that came in at the last minute again still. Thank y'all for your time for coming through. This has been another installment in another episode oh, yeah. of more interviews, memoirs of our real experiences. And with that, y'all, please don't forget to continue to write your memoirs and experiences so that you can keep growing and sharing your life. But with that, y'all, we're out. See y'all next time. Peace. Yes, y'all make sure y'all follow me and the brother. There it is. One love, y'all. Peace. One love. Peace.